Hi guys, Sport Tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, we have seen when the advertisement row items were displayed, some of the original row items containing the data were lost. What do I mean by that is, if this is the list containing the person instance that we had, that we had to render in the recycler view, we were just ignoring some of the items in the array list because get item view type was not evaluating to person type it was evaluating to advertisement type and that is why some of the items were not getting rendered actually this is not the right way to do it the better way is whatever the collection that we have it should contain person instances and also the add instances and all we have to do is check whether it is an add instance or a person instance and then based on that render row items in this way regardless of how the add instances are there in the collection whether according to some pattern or they are even shuffled we can just check the type of the instance and then render them accordingly so let us see how it would look like in the actual code as you can observe here we were using a list of person objects and passing that as the argument to the recycler adapter we can't use this anymore so instead of that i am using something called as catalog catalog is nothing but a list of objects and this list of objects can contain the list of person and as well as a list of advertisements if you observe the code here i have a bean class called as person and also a bean class called as advertisement and in the app utility method i have a method called as get catalog it returns me a list of objects and there is another method called as create catalog and if you have a look at the code what it basically does is it adds the list of the person and advertisements and then just shuffles the collection and that shuffled list is basically being returned in the get catalog method the further implementation now shifts to the adapter and in the adapter you can now observe that we are dealing with the list of objects rather than the list of people everything else remains same except once again the get item view type earlier we were deciding which particular layout needs to be rendered based on the position evaluation but right now what we are doing is we are checking catalog instance and if it is of type advertisement we are returning integer constant corresponding to the advertisement layout and if it is of instance person then we are returning an integer constant that is corresponding to a person layout and inside the on create view holder pretty much everything remains the same and if you come to the on bind view holder once again pretty much everything remains the same so with these modifications everything will get fixed so let us run this code and see what happens you can observe that right now our advertisements are coming in a very shuffled order and we are not losing any of the person data items also in our heterogeneous row items of the recycler view and every time i run this the order of the advertisements will change because i am shuffling them in the code but we will always render the values appropriately in a real world scenario actually you should expect a list that will contain different kind of data values in the array list so that you can decide upon which kind of layout can be used to render a particular kind of data item in the recycler view so having fixed this it is time for us to revisit recycler view and demystify some of the misunderstandings that we might be having about its internal behavior we basically started the implementation of the recycler view by implementing an adapter and this adapter also had view holder both adapter and view holder are basically the nested classes of recycler view and to actually render the recycler view we basically made use of a layout manager it could be a linear layout grid layout or staggered grid layout manager and then we set this particular layout manager to the recycler view so to put it in a nutshell you have a adapter and you have a layout manager and you have a view holder which is basically part of the adapter and then you have list of objects that you want to render the layout manager simply asks the adapter and gets the views that it wants to render and renders it depending upon the kind of layout manager that you are using and if this is what your understanding has been so far it has been wrong understanding i can't blame you guys because there is a, another item called as recycler which is not visible to the developer which actually does the recycling now the question is what is this recycler recycler actually recycles the views for row items as user scrolls recycler view items 
So in reality, the interaction is the layout manager basically asks the recycler to give the row item views that it wants to render. As the user scrolls the recycler view, some of the views might not be needed. So layout manager actually hands them back to the recycler and it is the recycler which basically interacts with the adapter to manage the data and the views. So the adapter never interacts with the layout manager. It is recycler which binds the adapter and the layout manager. If you are wondering what is internal functionality of the recycler, it has basically two pieces to it. One means recycle pool and another one means scrap heap. The recycle pool basically contains views which recycler doesn't need anymore. Other piece is the scrap heap. This is where the recycler keeps the views which it needs very often to rebind with the new data and display it again. It is counter into two going by the name that these components have but that is how it is. So you have adapter, recycler, and layout manager that make this whole magic work. Recycler view is one of the most complicated widget that you will come across in Android, even by Android's own admission. There are quite a number of things that are there to learn in recycler view. That is the reason why I have created a, another playlist in my channel. It is called as a recycler view advanced topics. These are some of the other videos on the recycler view that I have come across on YouTube using which I learned a lot. They contain some of the very advanced concepts in recycler view. I will be moving away from recycler view topic and if you want to learn some of the advanced concepts in recycler view, I suggest that you can go through this particular playlist. I will be sharing the link to this particular playlist in the description section below the video and with this I end the discussion of recycler view and in the next video I shall meet you with the new topic in Android. That brings us to the end of this particular video. Don't forget to like, comment, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye.